Hi, this is Mike from Crafty Hands, and today we're going to make this vintage 6x6 cabbage rose card. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already pre done my 6x6 card blank, which is just a standard 6x6 size, which, if you're cutting one from an A4 piece, would be 148 by 148. Okay, so that's exactly what I've done. So, to get started, I've taken my backing paper panel from this cabbage rose kit and I've already cut it out and I've already added some adhesive to the back and now I'm going to place that over the front just like that I've also then got my damask panel which I'm going to add adhesive to just quickly. For a per more permanent one, you can use a wet glue for this, but for the, the speed and ease of the video, I'm just using a tape runner and then place that over there. And then I'm going to take one of my decorative ribbon strips, which I've already put adhesive on the back, and I'm just going to lay that across and line it up with the backing paper and stick that down. Okay, the next step is to do the, the seed packet, the vintage seed packet, which is here. Now, there are two ways in which you can do this. You can either, um, once it's stuck down, which you do just by adding adhesive to the side flaps, once it's cut out of course, and then you just fold the flaps in and then push down to create your seed packet. Okay, now you can, um, which I'm going to do in a moment, is seal that down so it's just going to become another topper. Okay, I will show you what you can do with that as an alternative at the end of this video. So for the purposes of this, this video now, I'm just going to seal that down and I'm going to take some foam pads and just stick a couple of those onto the back of the seed packet. And then position that on the front of your card. About so. Okay. We're then going to do the same with the main image panel, which is the beautiful roses on, and the text. So I'll just move that to one side and pop that on foam pads too. Now, because I've already raised one side, I'm not going to put four foam pads on. All I need to do is to put three on. So one there, one there, one there, because this one's already raised up at this side, so that doesn't need to be done. put it on the wrong side haven't I? There you go. Which is easy to do. Just peel off and stick back on again. Okay. Least said soonest mended as the saying goes. I'm just going to tack a little bit of double sided tape on that bit and then I'm going to position my seed packet, not seed packet, the panel about there and just stick that down. There we go, starting to take shape already. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now there is another panel that you could use on there if you wanted to, to raise it up even further, but I'll show you a different use for that later. That can be used for something else. Okay, we now have our um, decorative corners. Now again, for ease, and speed 
I'm just going to pop a little bit of tape runner on and to make sure I get these in the right place. I'm just going to that's it. And then push down. Turn it over. one just lining it up with the edges and the corners of the pink stripe backing paper and then the next bit again if you use wet glue on these they will stick um, more securely but you don't need a lot, definitely don't need a lot. Okay, so we're taking shape already. So all we have to do now is we have to add on uh, a couple of our embellishments. Now we have uh, a couple of sentiments on these. Now there is a choice. I'm going to use the happy birthday one. So I'm just going to put that on some foam pads. I'm going to pop that in the top right hand corner over there. That's looking good. Okay, so we then have our butterflies. Okay, now these have been cut out. I've used a punch to cut these out because there is a punch that you can purchase which I will put in the description of the video um, but it will also be on the instructions in the magazine too. Now all I've done for the butterflies just to give them a little bit of dimension is I've taken this is a paintbrush but you can use a pencil if you want to just to give it a little bit of a curl on the wings as you can see Add a little bit more dimension and then curl on the wing there. And I'm just going to turn them over and I'm going to pop a half a foam pad on these because they don't need full ones and you can get away with just a half of one or a small foam pad. A little square one would do you. Being frugal crafters, waste not, want not. Okay, so I'm going to place that in the top corner there, and then I'm going to place this one down here by the join of the two. Are. Okay, so <clears throat> the only thing left to do now is to add on our little faux buns. Now there are two different sizes that we give you on the kits for these ones. There's the small ones which are 3 8 um, but there's larger size ones too which are 5 8 I'm going to just use the 3 8 ones because I feel that the 5 8 ones might be a little bit too overpowering down. There's not enough room really to put them down there, but you can utilise them any way you want to if you want if you want to change the layout of the kit. So for this, I'm going to use some small foam pads. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I need a coffee. I'm just going to add a small foam pad to the bottom using the point of my knife. I'm just going to position it where I want it. Out there, and then just press down. Take my second one. It's the thing with these little foam pads, they stick everywhere. And 
it again. Position where I want it. And push down. And finally, my third button. Foam pad. Turn it over. I'm happy with the placement, the spacing. Push down. And that's it. The card's finished. What I was going to show you about the other seed packet is I'll just clear some space away. Okay, you could, if you wanted to, <coughs> leave the flap up when you stick it down. And taking this um, this other topper for it, um, you can literally, if you wanted to, pop a hole. Now you either do it in the corner or you can do it in the middle. I prefer to do it in the corner. Just create a small hole. Um, some ribbon, push it through to make a little bit of a bookmark and you can use whatever colour ribbon you want to. And push that through to make a slip knot. like so and then you can feed that in to the envelope at the top as I've done with this one here I've just used a little bit of green and then you can use that as a hidden message or as a, a little note and then literally it will just slide back in Or it did do. <laughs> you just have to line it up. There we go. And that tucks in. So <clears throat> the alternative is, like I say, you can leave the flap up on it if you want to, or if you wanted to, you could literally just cut the flap off and leave it so it's a lot easier to get it in and out of. As a hidden message card. So there you go. And once again, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and add um, glossy accents, do some dewdrops on the, the leaves of the roses, or you could add a few gems or some glitter. The choice is yours. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video.